Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, I wanted to just continue on with I wanted to just fill in this island. That is pretty much the, the goal of this whole video. Fill in this island because we have like in the last video with the hospital, I filled in just some random buildings to kind of help visualize the look because without these buildings right here, it looked really, really out of place. So these buildings here, I just would I just put in I just put them in quickly. Um, and then so we can continue on with out out to here, and I want to continue on with the train line. So we need to kind of bend it around somewhere somewhere here, and then I want to put a train station here. Not a huge station, just just a little one, just something handy to have nearby. And um, yeah, so that is the plan. And uh, first of all, I should tell you guys there is a little bit of a terrain. There's a little bit of a terrain right here. So if we go to the terrain, uh, where is it? Right here. So it raises up a little bit, so I don't know what we shall do there. Maybe I'll just build over it. <laughs> I don't know. But, um, okay. First of all, we need to continue on with... There is so many crows outside my window right now, and they're being really, really noisy. Anyway, first of all, we need to continue on uh, this main road. But I think, firstly, I want to... Where is the... I want to flatten out the terrain a little bit. So... So then it'll, it'll kind of make that hill seem a little bit more obvious, I guess is the right word. So let's just bring it along there like that. So now we can actually see, yeah, there's a bit of a hill there. So, and I'm not sure where I want to take the road from here because I guess I could put it here because we have one over here. So I think that that should be okay if we just continue it pretty much straight ahead. Um, so I want it to be generally straight. So we don't want it to be too too wavy because that's just kind of annoying to deal with. And I think I've made it. I think is that okay actually? Maybe I want to I want to bend it just a little, just to create a bit of a curve that looks good. And then so this is where the train station will be. I'll just put in like a very simple station. And uh, just just so it's it's not too huge, I don't want to take away distraction from this like central one right here. So maybe you can put that like that, and then where the the key, what do you call this? The key, the boardwalk stops. We'll put it along like that, like like there. So it kind of it just shows that like this is where we're gonna stop the the boardwalk. So let's just call it the boardwalk. Honestly, that is what we call it here. That is what I'm familiar with calling it. So let's just. Go like that, the, ugh, the terrain though, the terrain, the hills, the, ugh, flatten, flatten, flatten. Let's bring this up a little bit so it's not too much of a hill. And, um, I don't know if I want to continue on the boardwalk to all these other areas. Like this one right here, it's really, really thin. And so as we move away from the city, it's going to be a less polished look. So we don't always want to have these um, boardwalks throughout the whole area so someone someone was getting really grumpy with me in the comments and I was like what the heck why are you going on about this like it's not a big deal it's just boardwalks so to whoever that person is it's just a boardwalk it's just a game move on so anyway let us does anyone like this building here it is so huge this is one big building 120 households uh, so it's similar to this one I guess oh, that's actually an office building mm, interesting and um, I think it looks good creates a nice big centerpiece for the corner and this little bit of water here I think it looks quite good as well just bringing it bringing it in instead of just going straight across there gives us something to work with pretty much and um, so here is this part here some of you guys were like oh, why didn't you show us the food truck area very much so I, I thought I did um, maybe not enough so here is a quick look at it so we got one two three four five six what do we have actually Panda Kitchen, and what's this? Joe's Barbecue, Sugar Rush, or maybe Lolly's Ice Cream. This one, I, I don't know. Even when I placed it, it was really, really bright. This one is the Vargas Mexican Food, and then we have Core Foods. I feel, I feel like this is going to be health food. So, okay, that is that. Let's move on. Where do I want to begin? Let, let me change the lighting a little bit. I want it to have a bit more of a shadow. It always looks good with a shadow, I think. It's a little bit darker now, but that's okay. So first of all, we need to continue on the train line. So I'm thinking, could we... Uh, this is a school, by the way. It's a high school. Um, so it has to go along here, obviously. So it's going to kind of be in front of this bus station. Non-stop bus terminal. Okay. 
And actually, let's have a look at the bus stations. Uh, not bus stations, the train stations. What am I talking about? Um, where is it? This one here. Okay, so we have the generic one. We have this one here. So I want it to be raised up for this area here. So this one is really, really big. So we maybe don't want that one. What is this one? I said this one. This one looks like it didn't download correctly. What is this one? Let's just place it and have a look. Okay. I'm just wondering how they get up in there. <laughs> it's... Hmm... I mean, we could use that one. That one's... That's the kind of type that I wanted. It's just very thin and it's not really... Not huge, so you're not really going to be distracted by it. Um, what's this one? That one looks broken. That one's way too long. This one's too big. This one's too old and low. This one's too old. This one's too low. Okay, okay. Um, or maybe we can do the... Actually, maybe we'll do this one. Because I, I like the New York style one. And hang on a second. What is this one here? Let's have a look. Let us have a look. This one I kind of like too, because maybe I can put it over uh, over the road here, which would actually save a lot of space. Maybe we will do that, actually. So, but the, the question is... It, it'll kind of be like a monorail. But the question is... Uh, let's pause. How do I put it over? So I'll have to drag it around a bit, I suppose. And, okay, let's put the road through it, and then we'll have to try to connect it somehow. So, let's see, the road will have to go, kind of, have to go straight through the middle, and I want those pillars, those middle pillars to go in the middle, which is what they are doing, and I think that helps the road connection, I think it's done. Why did it create a bridge right there? That is, oh, that is so annoying, whenever it creates a random bridge, I always use this, this one here, because it doesn't have the terrain um, function, so then I have to update it. Update it. There we go. And now, okay, let's... It's a little bit wonky, so let's just make it a little bit curved. Someone's going to ask, this is the Move It mod, okay? It's in my mods and asset list if you want it. So, the curve is looking alright. Um, I might... I was going to say, should I add in a pedestrian bridge here, but then... I don't know, I'm sure they'll just cross anyway, but we could add in a bridge that goes up to this higher area here. I'm not sure yet. Okay, bring that over to here, and then it goes up from there. Okay, so that saves a lot of space. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to make it get to the actual other train station. So, do we want to make it over the road? I think we can, or do I need to change the pillars? Okay guys, we've got it kind of working, I think. I'm just moving this pillar over so it's not in the middle of the road, like that. Hopefully it's still high enough for cars to go under. Let's just, let's raise it up, actually. Um, these ones, let's just pretend it's okay. One of the pillars disappears here, but let's just pretend it's still there because I can't be bothered to redo it again because it was being a little bit of a hassle. So, um, it goes over the bus station a little bit, but I think, I think that's okay. And um, it goes over the road and definitely am liking the compact look so that is that is really good so now that that is done um so this is all going to be compact housing building areas but why not let's just make a little bit of a green space right here where it connects up so um first of all let's connect let's press play uh let's bring the pathway actually over to where we want it to go. Let's just use the normal pathway because I'm sick of the colors or the random colors. Um, annoying road guidelines again. So we'll just connect it like that. Um, like this. Just to blend it in a little bit. Um, and it's always nice to have a bit of green space outside of a whatever you're catching the bus or the train or tram. Okay, so. We might add in one of those little, just one of these little lanes right here that kind of can maybe just slip down. Oh, it's going to demolish it. I'll go like that. I'll fix it up in a second. Um, and it can go maybe like 
Is it gonna be annoying? I think that's okay. Um, let's drag this out just so it's a little bit more straight and it kind of connects up with the boardwalk so it's just so I don't have to fill in that awkward little space between the boardwalk and the road. And okay, now it's doing some weird things with the terrain. You know what? I don't really mind. That shall do. And then maybe this part I'll just leave it with um, open green space. And uh, this part we can fill in a little bit. Why not? Why not extend this road here because we have this little random gap here. So let's just extend that out like that, so we can fill it in. Cars can go in and around. Um, hopefully, we might have to change this intersection if it becomes annoying in the future. But we might actually use this right now. And okay, let's turn everything back on and try to get a straight road. Okay, it's not. <laughs> it's being a little, little bit annoying, but I'm staying calm. Um, where do I want it to go? Can it go there? What does that look like? Is it overlapping? No? Okay. That is good. Why don't we bring it actually right around this... Would you call this an estate? Estate building. Um, so that goes right around. Uh, and then we can hopefully get a straight line going through here. No? I guess that is as straight as it gets. It's pretty much... It's pretty straight. Um, we can go like this, but there won't be any road connection here. So why don't we go ahead and stop them from turning. Stop them from turning where they shouldn't turn. And these guys shouldn't be able to turn right. Okay. So this is a main road. So we don't want to add another intersection. They can use these big intersections if they need. Okay, so let's try to keep it a little bit neat. But we don't have to do ex an exact block type uh, layout. But a block is still easier, I guess. And why don't we do this road here, just in case they, like, if they're going towards the bridge and they're like, Oh no, we don't want to go across the bridge, let's just turn off here and go back. So, and, okay, you can go about there. And then, let's just bring it along here. Natural terrain. And, curve. Straighten it out. How's that? Is it okay? Um, I don't, I don't know if it's okay or not. Um, let's continue this like this oh yeah and we also have to fill in this area as well um i guess it's just going to be buildings as well it's not going to be anything fancy and honestly do you guys see like can you see it all starting to come together now like the park even though it looks empty it's going to be quite good looking overall so do you guys see that yet <laughs> um let's just finish these road layouts first okay and then this part here you know what i'm kind of feeling these small roads like this can like small roads equals old style planning if you go to a lot of the really old areas in a city the roads are really small so i'm kind of thinking let's continue on that that small road theme and just for this area anyway um that is the general layout so first of all do we have water I keep forgetting to fill in this area as well we'll do that in a second but first of all we need to put in a school at least so Let's find one that looks kind of urban. So this is an elementary school, a primary school. Let's just put it here. It's kind of in the middle, roughly. Um, this th Over here is going to be more commercial office anyway. And um, we need a high school as well. Actually, we do have a high school right there. So there's this one here. It's a mini, mini, mini college campus type thing. I mean, it's not a huge one, but I think it's, I think it's still okay to put it in. Guess we need a fire station. Yeah, it's quite red. I always forget to do these basics sometimes. Um, so why don't we... Let's just put in a little one, but let's just overlap it a little bit to save space. And uh, police station, let's just put it right here next to the high school to keep the naughty high schoolers in check. There we go. Um, I mean, I th I'm pretty sure health is okay. I think it's okay. <laughs> um, death care, maybe we can be sneaky and slip in a death care. I mean, what am I saying, death care? A crematorium. Let's be sneaky and slip it in right there overlap it so it's just saving space but I feel like the it's okay to overlap it sometimes because a lot of the times things aren't always in separate buildings they can be in the same building so that's why I overlap things so we have the schooling education police uh, we'll have a park here we can I can probably add in some actual normal parks I never I never add in normal parks I always forget um, I, always, I like this one because it, it, it is an ice sculpture but when you look at it, it, you don't have to always imagine it as an ice 
sculpture one. So maybe I can. No, it's not going to fit in there, is it? No. Yes. No. I can put one in under there because this is this is really dead space anyway. So and it's nice to have a bit of green space next to the bus anyway. So and then before I place anything else, let's just go ahead and add in some pathways so they can easily get to where they want to go. Um, connect, yes, thank you. Let's just fill this in with pathway. There we go. Um, let's just put that one in there and then they can walk up through there. Uh, connect it up to the road, I guess, a little bit. There we go. Okay. Um, what else can we do? We can put a little connection right here. That will be handy. And we can put a connection over here, definitely. That would be quite helpful. Uh, and then... No, I'm not going to add in any bridges or anything here. I'm going to let them walk. I'm just going to see first how busy it gets. So... So, first of all, we need to at least get the train line going like it's not going far but it's still it's still a start so we, and we can kind of monitor how many people are using the area in general so we've kind of done everything that we need to uh, we'll come to this area in a second uh, I'm just gonna put in some buildings and I'll be back Okay guys, that is the first part done. So this area here, uh, it is pretty much all, mostly office, a little bit of commercial. And it is very, very dense. Um, there's very limited green space in here. There's only like these little planter things. And uh, yeah, like I said, very, very dense. But that is the look that I really wanted for this area. Small, thin roads that cars can still park on. Um, but mostly, uh, it's, it's very compact. So there's also a little bit here, but for the rest of this area, it's going to be mostly commercial. Uh, I'll put in, uh, not commercial, residential. I'll put in some commercial around here a little bit, uh, but not too much. I noticed the train doesn't really fit on there. I'm not really worried. I can change it to a different train anyway. Um, so I can fix that up off camera. And yes, yeah, so that is this first part done. And now I shall continue on with the residential portion of the island. Okay guys, have a look at what I've done so far. I've placed a lot of buildings in this part here. We still need to do this part here. But, um, so majority of the buildings are complete for this part. All I need to do now is just basically detail, maybe move the buildings around a little bit to make them fit in, put in some green space, some pathways, trees, stuff like that. But if we look at the, how I've built it, so there's a lot of higher buildings here. And then as we go further away, it goes down, 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 down to low. So over here, there'll be maybe a few of these height type buildings here but most of it will be uh, low density so it's just kind of keeping in with a realistic theme as the further you go away the more low density the buildings get and you can see that they are kind of more spread out than up here for sure so in this part here I'm just gonna do um, a little park as well and like I said there's gonna be a park in there and so for this this area here we need to fill this in um, so if we just use the normal road, basically, I'm not going to do anything too close to here because I thought we could um, make this a bit of a centerpiece, actually. So I can maybe bring it like, I don't know how, how I want to do it, kind of just like that. Just trying to make use of this space as much as we can. Uh, and, and like that, I guess. And we can fill it in with some smaller roads I guess um, let's straighten 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 like that okay can go like like that I suppose and why not even go straight like that so and then we can maybe do a road like that and then this can all be like an, a park as well and it will be a nice a nice alternative to the busy downtown area so um, does this area have water yes and the train is being used. Is any are any people walking? Yeah, there's some people walking. Um, 109 passengers last week. So, and how about this over here? Has it gone up? 637. Okay, definitely being used quite a lot. Um, it's I'm I'm pleased. I'm pleased with how it's how it's looking so far. Um, there's some not enough goods to sell issue. 
but I'm hope hoping that will sort itself out as time goes past. Um, a lot of traffic is coming in just because, of course, naturally a lot of traffic comes in when we build a new area, so that is normal. So there's going to be a lot of traffic jams for the next few game weeks, I guess. So I'm going to fill this in quickly and I shall be back. Okay, guys, yes, it is done. It looks good. Um, if you guys know me, I'm not one for... I'm not one of those people who play the game and do a lot of detail and just forget about like planning the whole thing. Like I'm more planning and then very little detail. So if you look closely, a lot of my detail is just trees, but um, trees and pathways. But anyway, this is the finished product, and honestly, it looks quite good just with the trees filling in the whole the whole area. Um, we have this here instead of uh, the boardwalk so I continued on the boardwalk that goes all the way along here into this kind of I don't know what you call this area just just a nice little centerpiece to be honest um, just something a little bit different um, and then so it comes around here a little bit of a park here nothing too special just a bit of green open space and yeah like I said I didn't want to continue the boardwalk all the way around so doesn't it look good and I, I like the honestly I, I like the wavy road I don't know why, I just like it. I like the wavy roads when it's really built up next to it. So it, it looks really good. Um, trees just basically are a nice filler. Um, and then we have that vegetation down, down low as well. And then I also added in a few car parks. And this one's really wobbly, I couldn't be bothered to fix it. Um, <laughs> like I, I couldn't be bothered to like try to get it to work because you know how the game is sometimes. It really has a mind of its own. So, so yeah, I'm just showing you guys. Like I'm not going to give you guys a cinematic view. I'm just kind of going over it just easily like this. So um, definitely it's, it's not causing too much traffic to be honest. Like yeah, there's people... It's people moving in, but um, okay, it's a little bit bad here. But overall, it's it's not too bad. Uh, and then I'm sure the train is really helping. So are there a lot of people using it, the area? There's a fair amount, well not a fair amount, but at least there's some people using uh, this area anyway. And so just little bits of uh, parking lots here and there. Uh, oh, I like that. There's a little cafe food stall thing right there. And some of the buildings I mushed into the the uh, the wall right here just to just to do something different I guess and yeah so it's it's very compact but definitely uh, it looks really good if we zoom out doesn't it doesn't it look good like honestly doesn't it look good just imagine all of this type of infrastructure and buildings um, all over here as well and probably out to about here so all the way up and then a little bit up into there but just imagine it's going to look so good um, so a lot of them are saying that they need more goods to sell so we definitely do need to make some kind of factories or something so I'm thinking maybe we could do something over here just to get this highway being used because honestly the highway is not being used at all um, they're not even using these uh, on and off ramps here they're preferring to go on here, so maybe if I make the speed limit like really, really high, they would prefer it. But I did, I did check that all the road connections are the right way, so it's really just up to them to. It's their preference to use this one instead of the highway. So, so yeah. What else can I say? That is pretty much it. Uh, I'm really pleased with the outcome. I need to extend the train line out to here somewhere. But as for where it's actually going to go, I don't really know yet. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I um, hope you enjoyed watching, and I hope you. Uh, enjoying uh, how the city is turning out so far because honestly I'm, I'm really proud with this and um, still not as prou proud as San Petersburg but nonetheless it's it's good enough um, so yeah thank you guys for watching and I'll be back very soon with another video bye for now